Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. You like that shuffle there? Mm -mm. Um, Monday the 7th of March 2022. Yes. Taurus moon, which will move into Gemini tomorrow. So I like a Taurus moon. It's a good, it's a good solid moon, a good, honest, earthy, solid moon. Full disclosure, I have my feet soaking in some Epsom salts in a strange washing up bowl which is probably breaking a lot of different technological rules. Um, and also I've got a couple of new bits and bobs, which I'm going to biddly bop. Are we ready? And I'm going to show you. This is for, yeah, I've told you the date. Good. Look, bits and bobs. You don't normally see me with bits and bobs, but here's some bits and bobs. This is a salt thing. Salt thing with a candle in, which I'm quite fond of. These are off my um, fireplace downstairs. This is, is it selenite or something like that. Um, the boy bought me this a few years ago for my birthday. It's really nice. Let's try and get it closer to the camera. There we go, without spilling wax everywhere. And then even some crystals, and I'm very random about crystals, like I'm random about most things. Um, rose quartz in a heart shape. I know it's a bit cheesy, but I kind of like it. Amber, maybe something like that, but I like it. Pyronite, is it, or something? The boy bought me this for my birthday too. This is really cool. It's a bit like a rocket. Anyway, that's what's on the table at the moment, so I thought I'd just show you that. Let's biddly bop back. Biddly bop back. Okay, we have some new cards. I was going to do a couple of cheese boards. Kim Krantz archetypes, because these are very popular and I really like them. And then also we have new deck, new secondhand deck, healing cards and for daily practice, a daily practice for maintaining spiritual balance by Caroline Miss, M-Y-S-S, and Peter Occhio Grosso. I think that's how you pronounce it. Are we gonna pick up on that? Yes. So, mm-mm slightly battered box. I'm excited already. Okay, I am excited already. <sighs> and how do I know this? Because, oh, hone in on that. Look, a bit of a bashed corner. In fact, bashed all round, isn't it? Bish, bash, bosh, lovely, jubbly. And then the cards themselves. I do like a rounded card. Do you know what I mean? I do like a rounded card. So rounded cards and also um, Caroline Miss, Miss, Miss has done some archetype cards, which I have got, but we're not doing yet, which I'm going to branch out and mix up with Kim Krantz. I know. What a curious admixture. Also got dry shampoo on, which falls into my contact lenses. It's been one of those few days, hasn't it, recently? Okay, let's shuffle the round archetype cards. How is your Monday? Let me know, woo, in the comments section, particularly if it's slightly kind of messy like mine have been recently. Why not? Ooh. Oh. Oh, cripes. Okay. Let's put these in a four. Ching. We're just making up a spread. By the way, um, if you have any tarot questions, there is a community tab. If you go on my community tab, um, you can ask questions and I'm going to be answering them in some videos. And a lot of people were asking me questions about layout. So that's what brought me to this. Doesn't this look pretty? Oh my God, this is so pretty. Let's, instead of moving the camera, let's just move the table. <laughs> right. I'm going to stick you up there a bit. I'm going to stick you up there a bit. I'm going to make you more of a mainstay. And then, yes, ching, ching, ching. Let's push these up, as the actress said to the bishop. Okay, and then, there we go. We have the maiden. Nice. These are so pretty, these cards. 
just going to retrieve. I'm always worried I'm going to set fire to my hair. So this could be a whole new dimension, couldn't it? The heart. Look at that. Do you know what? That resonates with me hugely. And I have no idea why. That is two people in a boat in the middle of it. And that jewelly thing, I'm into that. It's kind of nesty. So we have the maiden, we have the heart. Look at this bad boy. We have the one. Ooh. And we have the self. And you know what I told myself before I started this reading? I said to myself, this is another full disclosure, my readings have been getting a bit esoteric recently and a bit weird, so I'm just going to get the ride away out and I'm just going to go do a really kind of middle of the road, let's reset, you know, a real classic. And what do I do? I don't do that, but I dig out the cheese board, we go weird on the healing cards, I start lighting salt candles, crystals are appearing, God knows what's happening, but I hope you're in for the ride, okay? I hope you're in for the ride. Let's do this thing. First of all, the maiden as an archetype is the innocent, the zero, a bit like the fool, okay? And obviously, um, with tarot, you do now with the more modern decks, you get female archetypes of the fool. This is um, the fool in all of its feminine and masculine energy for me, okay? The fool is also, or the maiden, is something that hasn't been ruined by experience. And I think this is a bit like when um, the boy was born, and I've said before, and I remember those very kind of dark, liquid, newborn eyes that you look into, like mm, that I looked into in my slightly kind of, you know, probably drugged out state, um, looking at these eyes and just at the same time knowing that they knew nothing and everything, every last thing, all encompassing nothingness of knowing. That is the maiden, okay? It's giving me an itchy ear. Okay. Then we have the self. So let's look at the self. This is particularly beautiful and the pearl of wisdom here, which is kind of resting above the solar plexus chakra, just below the throat chakra. I think I can actually identify those chakras possibly. Um, power and knowledge and the ability to express ourselves and speak out authentically. That's what I'm getting for the self. And again, this is not necessarily what I'm going to read in Kim Krantz's beautiful guidebook, but it's what I'm getting as a response to the cards. And again, if you're doing Q&A, and a lot of this has come up so far, is how do I know? I think that's the biggest question when people are reading tarot, particularly if they're going to do it professionally or if they're going to do it for other people. How do I know when to stop shuffling? How do I know when to do reversals? How do I know when to speak out, when to stop, when to start. If we apply this to our general life, and that's where we're living, how do I know? The self, from the maiden who knows nothing and everything, the self questions. This is the voice in our head as well that we have running alongside us all the time. Am I right? Will I embarrass myself? Am I gonna stick out like a sore thumb? Am I gonna make a mess of this? How do I know? Okay, and I think the message that I'm getting here as well, because we have the heart, and I'm, I'm going to look this one up as well in the book a bit, in case there's anything I'm missing. The heart and the one, I'm getting a sense of inclusion and wholeness, of knowing the self and not knowing the maiden. And this is about trusting ourselves at the deepest level, and this is difficult because I'm talking mining below the 3D, okay? The 3D of social media, of the news, of the telly, of our friends, of our family, of our history, of the street we walk, of the bricks in the houses, of what we can see, which we know if we study um, philosophy, which I did, I did some, I'm trying to think of the branch of philosophy that it was, it might be called epistemology, and. It was to do with what is empirical, what is in the five senses, what you can see, smell, taste, touch, what you can feel. 
And of course, we know kind of scientifically that what we're seeing and the things in themselves are not necessarily the same thing. There is a gap. We don't perceive the same way as a bat perceives or other animals or other, you know, some people, some animals see kind of infrared or whatever it is, like on David Attenborough, where he shows you what the insects see and they see all this kind of fluorescent weirdness that we don't see. Do you see what I mean? There is a difference between what you know innately inside yourself and what you've been taught to perceive. And this is to do with healing the heart, making the heart whole and becoming the whole one of ourselves. This in everyday life, when we step out among others, is to do with trusting ourselves at the deepest level. For example, my fear as I came to do this reading today, and I have fear the same as everybody else, was that my readings are becoming too esoteric, too cluttered, too confusing for other people, for YouTube, for whatever is out there. And yet this is what I yearn to do today. This is what was the most simple, obvious and heartfelt, whatever you want to call it, choice for me was this. So you go with this and never mind the consequences. Okay, it's that kind of feeling and it will show up for all of you in different ways to do with what you're doing for work, to do with how you love, to do with what you say to people, to do with what you reveal, what you keep secret. So trying to do a recap because the recap was very popular. And yeah, that, it's nothing bad about learning a new discipline. And for me, a recap is a new discipline. This is about what is not known, the maiden, what is known, the self, but maybe externally known rather than internally integrated, making the heart whole and the, the one of all of these things combined as we show up in general life, 3D life, authentically as ourselves, in our hearts, our minds, our action and our words, okay? Not an easy thing to do. Let's have Caroline Miss healing card. So pretty, these are so pretty, I'm in love with these. Let's biddly bop back, bodily bip, or bodily bip in, yes. A bit like a yoga stretch, isn't it? Let's have a healing card. Oh, it feels like you. Oh, wow. That is cool. Okay, we've got two. The individual epitomizes the universe. We are all one. I know. Where exactly does your influence on life end? You will never know the full power or consequences of your actions and choices. Enhance the whole of life <coughs> today through your actions. And I suppose what we're saying in this reading is that the actions, as far as we can, and this is not something to trouble yourself with either, are integrated, body, soul, mind, okay? And then this one came along. This is so gorgeous. Wonder where there is no path, and that's what we've done today. And that's the feeling you might be getting today or being called to, okay? There's no time like the present to get lost, <laughs> to realize that a path has many expressions, exploring creativity, indulging intuition, pursuing a relationship, choose one or all and get lost on the pathless path today. Woof. So there you go, we had a recap, weird and wonderful reading, I hope. Leave me a comment if you have any Q&A questions, please put them on the community tab or I'm gonna get confused going in the comments section here in the community tab over there, I can't really cope with that. So stick them on the community tab because I'm gonna be reading directly off that. Okay, leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts on this reading and I'll see you soon, namaste.